This is Soba University Hospital, one of the largest in Khartoum, now barely functioning because of the fighting between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary rapid support forces. Like many hospitals, it's run out of basic medical supplies. We used to operate two dialysis units, one for adults and another for children, which we had to shut down because of a lack of supplies. The materials necessary to give dialysis to children aren't available anywhere in the country. Operating rooms are empty. Staff say the last procedure was formed on the day the conflict began, the 15th of April. Employees are too scared or unable to come to work. We call on local and international aid agencies and charity organizations to help Sudan, and especially Soba. The hospital hasn't been damaged by the conflict, but there are no medical supplies or staff. The only section that's still functional is the adult dialysis unit, but the violence and a lack of money has kept many patients away. The road to the hospital is not safe, never mind the costs involved. From transport to medical fees, I'm forced to spend less money on food for my children in order to pay for dialysis. The Sudan Doctors' Union says more than 60% of the hospitals in Khartoum have shut down since mid-April. A brief ceasefire enabled some medical assistance to be brought in, but the continuous fighting means they haven't been distributed to all the hospitals. Now that the ceasefire is officially over, people who need help are worried that even the few functioning hospitals may not be open for much longer. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Khartoum. A new medicine called Osema 